All right, David, thank you. We are getting you set for school today, and part of that is getting your little ones back on a sleep schedule. So joining us is a sleep program medical director at Dell Children's, Dr. Lisa Barber. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, this is a very, very important topic. Some important questions now. What are some ways to really establish a good sleep routine with children? That's a great question. So much of having success at night starts with your day. So it starts with a consistent wake time, exposure to sunlight, the outdoors, regular exercise, and then finishing up the day with a consistent bedtime routine, wherein about an hour before the desired bedtime, things are simmering down at home. So screens are going off, you're changing out that activity for something like reading or puzzles, something, something pretty chill. Um, and heading to bed around the same time each night. So consistency is certainly, certainly key. So if a child does not get enough sleep, how can that really affect their day in ways that we really might not expect? Yeah, so for you and I maybe, we might feel really sleepy and doze off during the day if we got insufficient sleep at night. Oftentimes that's the case for our adolescents, our teenagers as well. But in early childhood, many children exhibit almost like an opposite response to where they can be hypercharged and hyperactive. And sometimes parents say it's like he's running on a motor um, if they got insufficient sleep the night before. And what are some of the most common sleep problems that you've seen in children? I'd say a number one is getting insufficient sleep. In your elementary, middle school kids, we're thinking about a target of nine to 11 hours of sleep. As you get into adolescence and our teens, we're looking at eight to 10 hours of sleep. If your child is showing signs of poor quality sleep, despite hitting those goals, I strongly recommend chatting with your pediatrician about some uh, other disorders of sleep that could be present and worth, worth looking into. All right, Dr. Lisa Barber, thank you so much for joining us. Some really good tips. We know that parents were, were taking some notes. We appreciate you. Great, thank you so much.